Hey guys, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2 Reloaded. So, uh, last episode we had a couple of John Cena creepers make things very difficult for us. I've changed one config setting, um, and again, this is me not doing my proper due diligence before starting the recording, uh, but thank you to Name on Screen uh, for pointing out that the blood moon in the config was set to 50% chance to occur. So I've uh, put that down to a much more sane 5% chance um, because we are on a map where we've got a lot of land around us. We're not on a sky block where we can control spawning as easily as you can on a sky block. Um, so the blood moon has been changed. I would also like to change a different config Whatever config is setting it so that if a creeper starts its explosion fuse, the creeper will always explode. Uh, whatever is doing that, I would like to turn it off. And until I can find which config that is, um, I've turned mob griefing, griefing off. Because I don't want creeper craters everywhere. Um, I don't mind creepers exploding. But if I can prevent the explosion by dodging the creeper, as people normally do, then I would prefer not to deal with that. Um, another thing is, I should really focus on getting some string. Because speaking of night time, that should be enough. We can make a bed now. As you can see, I've uh, recovered our part builders and stuff so we should be okay in that department wood bed bed place sleep good um now that we have a bed we can also just control night time <laughs> which is going to be nice uh there is something i want to focus on but i'm going to fill in this creeper crater because i hate them with passion We'll probably end up moving our base just so that I don't have to stare at these two Cena Creeper craters the whole time. Um, but we'll make do. Anyway, uh, let me just fill this in. I think some of that was naturally there anyway, but I just felt like finishing it off. Um, we do have cobblestone and sticks. Perfect. We are going to make a hammer or two. We'll just make two. We'll see where we go with two. Two's good. Two's a good number. I like two. Two's a nice number. Um, now apparently we have vein miner, so I should be able to do this. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I can. Wonderful. Um, gravel. Gravel for flint. Brilliant. So now, flint, and that will make, let us make proper tools. That vein mining also means that we'll be able to sieve a lot quicker. Uh, I don't need food. Oh yeah, we forgot to open the loot bags. What's in the common, first of all? Some string. Boo. What's in the rear? Chance icosahedron. Probably not good. I've got a turret base though, that's pretty awesome. Uh... I'm not sure how to make the rest of the turret though. Uh, at defense, is it? No. At turret. Yeah. So we would need to make a disposable item turret to go on top, which requires a chamber and a barrel. That looks easy. And a chamber. That looks easy. And this, we crank it. We hand crank it. And it will shoot things for us, if I remember correctly. I did. I haven't actually used this mod before. I've only watched mod spotlights, so all the information I'm blurting out right now is based on what I remember from the mod spotlight that I watched. But either way, we have a turret. That'll be handy. Um, food. Food was my focus. A coconut will do for now. And some peanuts. We will actually start farming very, very soon, probably this episode, because um, farming is good. 
Get in there. I don't want to see you. You you are bad. I hate you. Um, I hate chance things. Well, there's a chance of getting good stuff, but there's also a chance of getting your base completely destroyed. So we don't want that. We'll probably end up finding a new dimension to go to to open these. So it'll probably be quite a few episodes yet. Food, food, food. Uh, what can we do for food so far? Could probably do some wheat. Some carrots. Anything a bit quicker than that. Thick eyebrows? Those aren't edible, are they? Hmm. Just eat some of these. Oh, do we have to cook these ones? I think we do. I think we do. Yep. Cook silkworm. That's fine. We have the ability to do that. Do we not? I used up all my cobble. <laughs> and I don't have a new sieve. I do have enough string for a new sieve though. So that's good. Alright. In my haste to get flint, I used up my uh, opportunity. Alright, so need sticks for the legs and then like that I think yeah jungle sieve all right I'll be back I need some cobble all right cobble get and oven well furnace put you there we'll put some wood in here and cook silkworms yum Delicious roasted worms. Let's put this stuff away. That all came with the uh, dirt I just sieved. Gold. Stone. String. What else don't we need right now? Well, the Ender, you can live here. You're not actually as powerful right now in the state that it is as the flint sword I'm about to make. So we will just ignore that for now. How are you doing? I've made three roasted worms. Okay, so moving along. Did I, I did not lay this out properly. Or did I? I think I did lay this out properly. You, we'll start with the sword. Tool rod. Uh, you the sword blade or are you the sword blade? You're the sword blade. Okay. Tool binding, pickaxe head, shovel head, axe head. That'll probably do us for now. Uh, into here. And then you. We want tool rod. You don't have to make a tool rod out of a stick, and I always do that by accident. <laughs> But we do need a flint blade. Why can't we make a flint blade? I've made a flint blade before. I'm sure I had. Oh no, I made a flint axe head. Uh, and was using my axe as my weapon. But we will make a mattock. A flint mattock. And a flint thingamajigger. And you will... You need to be a wooden binding. And I need another tool rod. AKA a stick. Right. Axe. Handle. Some configuration of this. Fine. I'll use the actual guide then. There we go. <laughs> Uh, and then we want this. It's us a flint pickaxe. Good stuff. Right, moving right along. That does wooden tools for us. Quest book, what say you? Um, alpha, we completed this. What? Excuse me. Uh, stencil table. Does that count? No, you want me to remake one. That's not very nice of you. Wonder why they didn't get detected. I have to cut down a new tree now. And of course I can't use the rubber ones. 
as much as I want to. So fluid cow, that's the molten magnesium one. Rubber, rubber everywhere, but not a jungle tree to spare. Come on, seriously, did I cut down all of that and just like not replant jungle saplings? I'm awful. I am the worst. What was I thinking? Not thinking, apparently. Okay, did we get jungle saplings? We did. We'll plant them closer to the base. Give me your coconuts. So I may feed. Terrible food. Okay. But more saplings, please. One sapling, I suppose, counts. Let's get back over there so that we can progress. Yeah, I'd really like to know why the quest book didn't pick up on the fact that I uh, had made two of them but not the other two. Like, come on now. Apparently these things are growing because I'm running around them, which, that's cool. I like that. I'd heard of the um, twerking mod, where you have to do this next to trees to make them grow, uh, but I had not heard of the one that where you just sprint around them and they grow. I can deal with that. Okay, you plus you, part builder, uh, and you plus you, stencil table? No. Your stencil table. Now, what the heck? What the actual heck? Come on now. I just made them, like literally right now. Mm. I'll be right back. So, it took me a moment to realize what the problem may be. And it may be that if we look very carefully, and you probably won't be able to pick it up on YouTube, the part builder it's asking for is the oak part builder, as well as the stencil table. So we can check that right now. And that is, in fact, the problem. It's that they are not oak ones. So I have to go and find some oak tree, because I need oak logs. Oh, experience. Berry bushes, those will come in handy. I am sure of it. They always do. As well as some copper berries. We'll take whatever berry bushes we can on our discovery and journey. Hopefully I remember the way back because I didn't mark it on the map. <laughs> we have a slime chunk though. That's nice. There's rubber trees everywhere. I mean, that's fine, but I'm, I need oak. And it's just frustrating seeing trees all around you that are the wrong trees. No slime, stay away. Here we go, we finally found an oak tree. Hello, hello. Come to me. And I will wait, because I want your saplings. Grab this one, saplings, as well. Okay, we Gucci. So let's head back to the base. We have arrived. Let's make that final thing. Mm. I mean, I call that a bug. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely call that a bug. You can see I tried it three different times. Uh, the reason I tried it three different times is not because I was following the definition of insanity. It was because I was trying them in different crafting tables, uh, seeing if that was the cause before I uh, stumbled upon that little gem of wisdom about oak trees. Um, so, we can finally hand you in. Give me. Heavy aluminium wire and heavy aluminium, well, normal aluminium wire and heavy aluminium wire. 
What are you from? You are from Galactocraft Core. Okay, well, I guess you'll come in handy at some point, maybe. Um, we shall possibly never know. Hopefully we will. Okay. We also got a common loot bag from a slime on the way back. More redstone alloy. Already had a little bit of that, so... Happy to join the family. Moving right along, we probably want to head to Lava Generation ASAP. Um, the reason for that is because we want to work our way into technology as soon as possible. We could go with tinkering as well, because we can get the gravel, sand, and clay necessary. Um, I don't know what a blubber tub is. Auto tool station. What do you require? Auto tool station. Yeah, we can't make you yet. We don't have iron. Okay. So, clay is on the agenda. Barrels. Did I make barrels? I thought I made barrels. Maybe I lost my barrels. No, I didn't. It will need to rain, though. Which is, you know, something else entirely. So we'll let those grow. Grow? Fill. <laughs> I was staring at trees, so I, I guess my brain thought I would, would need that. Uh, all right, let's grow some oaks. Why don't we do that? One, two, three, and run around. Okay, and run around. Great. I love how fast that works. It's very satisfying. I should make a normal axe just for doing stuff like this. Until we get some automation going on for this. But then again, I'm not entirely sure I'm settled on where we are at the moment anyway. Alright. Let's also cut down some of this rubber trees. So I'm going to do some mucking about until I actually get some water in those barrels. And then I shall return. Alright guys, I'm back briefly. I'm still waiting for the rain to pour. And yes, I heard you. I did remember that I could use vein miner on trees. No worries. I haven't been accidentally chopping away at trees for multiple minutes. Although I kind of was. Uh, there we go. Yes, and I also worked out that I can twerk for my trees. Um... Which, you know, no problem. I'm making a hut because there's nothing else really to do while we wait for, uh, while we wait for water. Because we need that water. We need it big time. One thing I could probably do is, that's more useful, is set up a cave to grow the iron berries in. Because the, uh, sooner we have a reasonable amount of iron, the sooner we have a bucket which will further our goals toward water or more water sources. We have one water source in the form of the Florb that we got for the very early quest, but that's not going to um, suit us in the long run. So we're going to have to sort that out very shortly. But in the meantime, house building. So I'll be back soon. House! We have a house. So I put a little glowstone around the place so that uh, during the night it's not going to be too terrible. It's back here as well and on the roof to prevent spiders from spawning up there and being a pain. Our turret's right here. And we've got the basic necessities inside as well as our bed. Let's check the barrels. Do we have water yet? We do not. <laughs> Um, oh, that's a pain. What can we do about that? What can we do about that? Because I don't think there's any way for us to make water, is there? Other than um, water buckets made with water seeds, well, water essence. But we need to start growing that stuff first to get hold of it. Um... So we could go down that path, however, we won't, not right now anyway. 
Yeah, I have pork chop. We've got some basic organization going on. Organic stuff. Um, mob drops. And then everything else is in that chest right there. And uh, this one's empty right now because I haven't figured out what I want to put in there. Probably building blocks or something like that. So, question is, where do we go from here since we're waiting on water? We could move on to, because I think we need water for you as well, yeah, because we need the clay. We could get 64 cobble. <laughs> that wouldn't be impossible. Um, we could possibly start on beta, which requires a seed analyzer. I think we could get away with making a seed analyzer. I think it's just some glass and stone and some planks. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's work towards that. So, uh, Grab some wood we're not using right now. You'll do. And there you go. Let's make three stone because we're going to have to turn you into stone slabs. And then I need to go grab some sand from out here. Three, four, five, six. And that should get us our glass panes as well. And in the meantime, I'll have to do some sieving, but we will uh, fast forward through that, huh? All right, we have all our bits. Do we have, we do, slab, slab, wood, wood, glass, I think I need some sticks here, yes I do, do I have three sticks, I have exactly three sticks, wonderful, seed analyzer, okay, you're going to be wonderful, but not quite yet, however, you did get us through this quest, so thank you very much, you have a need of a journal, we don't have to make it ourselves. Uh, chance cube. You can of course go in there. Never to be seen again. And sewage floor. Wonderful. How wonderful. Right. You out of the way. What's next? Crop sticks and passive farm. Create a platform around 25 blocks from your base to spawn animals. Well, we can kind of do that anyway. I'll need to go chicken hunting and beef hunting. That's easy to do, actually. Haha, <laughs> and wool was made using string. Jokes on you, game. Uh, and crop sticks. Let's make crop sticks. Since we're here, uh, you can't make crop sticks directly from planks. Go figure. Uh, crop sticks. And now you want carrot seeds and potato seeds. I think I have carrot seeds handled. But you may want specific carrot seeds, won't you? You'll want carrot seeds that drop from um, thingamajigger. From grass. That's the word I was looking for in potato seeds. No. I can convert you. So that handles one of them. But potato seeds, I'll probably have to sieve more dirt. In the meantime, let's go find a chicken to beat up. Oh, you're going down. All right, I'll wait till morning and then we can go beat up a cow and a chicken. All right, morning. Let's go find a cow and a chicken to beat up. Uh, someone wondered what we would need magnesium for. I think it might be a... um. Yeah for the planets thing extra planets and just extra planets yeah just extra planets looks like you use it to make uh, armor only uh, not what I wanted to do can make a block of magnesium some tools some armor some dust 
dust is used for ingots, fluid is used for nothing. So it's kind of a useless fluid, so I don't mind you being removed from life. We still need to find ourselves a chicken, however. Uh, up there, please. So let's go find a chicken. We should be out here somewhere. Since we've got all this nice grassy land around us. I mean, sure, some of it counts as the ocean, like the bit we're in right now, but a lot of it doesn't. <laughs> Probably have to go back this way, though get anywhere useful back to where we found those oak trees and then once we have a chicken we can move on with our beta quests what the heck what hello I mean I see you on my You, are you under me? What up? I mean, most people would encourage you not to go towards the noise, but I'm really curious what the noise is. I mean, it sounds spooky. Can't tell if it's getting louder, though. I think it might be getting louder. Oh! Ha! <laughs> it's, uh... Where are you? Get in my wally of you so I can see what you're actually called. Blizz? Yeah, Blizz. What up? Blizzes? Blizzes? Thank you for your contribution to the fund. Okay, we'll leave that to just be its own little thing. I'm sure we'll have all sorts of mobs spawning down there now. Got an extra ender pearl, which is always nice. We actually got some iron. Enough iron to make a bucket. <laughs> well, that solves having to make the uh, iron ore berry thing. Ah, you can't make buckets like that, huh? Bucket. How do we make you bucket? Iron plates. Much like Skyblock. That's fine. We're still on a, ki a chicken killing mission, so... We'll continue along that vein. Oh, ship. You're okay. You will not die. Yes. I know. I am so nice. Mm-hmm. I enjoy your bars of thank you. But, chickens. Now that we've had our blizz mystery solved. Where you at, chickens? I want your eggs. Is it eggs? I think it's eggs. It is... Eggs. Yeah, so we want to find a chicken and wait around until it drops an egg. Sounds like a extremely exciting event. Might not find chickens out here. We might be out of luck. Squiddy withered away. I'm sorry to hear that, Squiddy. What up, zombie? Don't stand a chance. I've got flint tools. Where you at, chickens? They're out here somewhere. I know you are. Ugh, I'll be back once I find a chicken. Alright. Not very uh, lucky, unfortunately. No chickens were found that day. And I have a creeper outside. <laughs> However, this creeper cannot. And his name is John 
I was saying. It just happened to be a John Cena creeper. Uh, oh, first death, I suppose. Hopefully we'll earn more lives soon, though. Look, it's my head. Let's put it, my head right there. It's a good spot for it. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't trust any creepers whatsoever. Gotcha. More obsidian. That'll be useful. Still no water. Did not rain on the entire trip. Did notice a couple of things about the world, though. Uh, there seems to be stone-like spheres. Um, that'll be useful for making a thing, probably. There's stone-like spheres underneath most of these islands. Um, so we could go digging for those. But uh, maybe not as well. They seemed pretty rare, so I don't know whether we'll be able to spot one from here. The one I spotted was actually in that direction. Um, but still no chickens. Lots of cows. What are you? You're a nice shade of blue. You shiny liquid. You shiny cow. You're a gallard cryotherm that actually might be very useful later on. Uh, get lid. I think we can we can definitely use that for cooling reactors. So you hang around, cow. But no chickens, no chickens, which is a bummer, because between waiting for a chicken <laughs> and waiting for water, there's not a lot left to do for this episode, guys. So I think. What I might do is I might wrap up here and when I come back next time we will have progressed in either one of those directions. Either have an egg or we'll have water. We'll see. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.